Hello friends, my name is Bhushan. In this video, I will show you how to use J Calendar. So J Calendar is used whenever we want to store a uh, date to our MySQL database or whenever we want to store any specific date in our database, then we need to use J Calendar. So let's flip to our uh, NetBeans IDE and uh, let's see how to use that. Go to our NetBeans IDE and uh, go to our design view of uh, J Frame form. Uh, if you look at uh, in the palette, uh, you don't see any J calendar or a J date chooser because uh, by default the Java Sphinx does not provide a J calendar. So we need to import it externally. So let's see how to import that uh, externally. Before that, before importing, we need a one jar file that is J calendar. So I have already downloaded that jar file. Uh, if you want that jar file, and then underneath this video in the description below I have a link to the J calendar jar file so first of all let's download it and uh, use it uh, now let's import that jar file to our uh, project library I already I have already shown you how to import a jar file to our uh, project library so go to your uh, library and just right click and add a jar or a folder and here uh, uh, it will ask ask for the jar file so here is the jar file that is jcalendar so click that and click ok and uh, we successfully imported the jcalendar so now uh, still we don't get any jcalendar or a j date chooser in our uh, palette so what we're gonna do is just right click here and go to the palette manager and add from jar and here uh, again choose the jcalendar and click next it will uh, 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 show the available components in the J calendar. Uh, we are looking for uh, J date chooser. So click that and click next. And it will ask where you want to uh, uh, put that in, uh, put a component uh, in your uh, uh, palette. So we need, we put that in uh, swing controls and click finish. So close it and check it out. In the swing, con swing controls, uh, now we get a J date chooser. So let's drag and drop it on our uh, J frame forum and uh, take one label and uh, change the text of your label. Uh, I'm gonna name it as DOB, okay, which is a date of birth. And uh, here I'm storing a date of birth. And now uh, let's give a meaningful name to your uh, J date chooser. I'm gonna name it as txt underscore. Click OK, and uh, first of all, we need to uh, change the format of our uh, format of uh, format of the date. Uh, so for that, just click this uh, J date chooser and go to the properties. And in the properties, there is an option that is uh, the format is J date format string. So click that. And uh, uh, we cannot store data. We cannot store date in MySQL database as we want. Actually, there is a specific format. Uh, that is format is. This is the format to store a date in MySQL database. That is 4y and one hyphen and double m minus double d. So make sure that the month should be in a capital letter. And click OK. And uh, now, first of all, let's uh, create a column in our uh, MySQL database. Go to our MySQL database, and here add a one column. Click Go, and the column name is date of birth, and which is of uh, date and length. You don't need to specify length here, and click Save. So, as we just now added a column. Now let's write our Java code. Go to our NetBeans IDE and double click this uh, save button. And uh, here uh, we return a code for the insert operation. In the query, let's add one more uh, column name that is date of birth. And in the values part, uh, put one extra question mark. And uh, before the pst.execute statement, let's write one more statement. It is pst.setString and uh, the first uh, parameter is a uh, index here the date of birth index is 5 and the second parameter 
before uh, uh, before expanding, I will uh, first of all write the code. Field and ext data get editor dot get ui component and text. Okay, basically what I'm doing is uh, using this statement I am uh, accepting the date and uh, convert it to a jtext field once we convert it to a jtext field using a gettext method we can easily accept the value so that's this statement doing simple simply you can understand uh, this text date of birth dot get date editor dot get ui component accepting the date from the j date chooser and that will convert it to a convert it to a j text field and uh, using a get text we are accepting the value from the text field and that's it that's it click save and run your project connection has been established and click save a card shows successfully go to your mysql database and uh, refresh it go to close check it out the date is stored exactly as we expected the year and month and a date so thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video